workers shall not enter any excavation over four feet in depth unless the sides of the excavation are sloped to a safe angle. The sides have been supported by the use of sheet piling or shoring and bracing, meeting the minimum standards contained in the regulations, or the workers are protected by other effective means, such as restricting worker access to the hazardous area. When sloping is used instead of shoring, depending on the conditions, no slope can be steeper than three feet horizontal to four feet vertical. When a combination of sloping and shoring is used, the minimum amount of shoring must be equivalent to the standard for the overall depth of the excavation. Shoring is installed from the top down and removed from the bottom up. The reason is so workers will always be protected by the shoring that's in place. In other words, the trench is excavated. Uprights, upper stringers and cross braces are put in place. Then the lower stringers and cross braces are put in place. The number of stringers and cross braces needed is dependent on the depth of the excavation. When the job is finished, the lowest cross braces and stringers are removed first, and then the uprights. In other words, in reverse order. Then the site is backfilled, but no workers are allowed in the trench to compact the backfill. Excavation support systems must be installed so that they are firmly in contact with the face of the excavation. This can be achieved by backfilling or blocking. Support systems must be inspected daily or more frequently if required and must be maintained in a fully effective condition. This is the site manager's responsibility. Shoring uprights must extend above the top of the excavation by at least one foot and must be as close to the bottom of the trench as is possible, but in no case more than two feet from the bottom.